Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video we'll be looking at how to make other players in your game not be able to collide with other players basically so you can walk through them as shown here. It's really easy to do and I'll be showing you how to do it in this tutorial. Before we begin I just wanted to say make sure to, make sure to join our discord server. Basically if you join you get all the scripts for free and have to write them all out and it's also a great way to support the channel. Another way you can do it is via liking and subscribing of course. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, let's jump straight into our Roblox Studio world here. Now I'll be showing you how easy this is to set up in your world. So let's come into your world. Let's go to server script service and insert a regular script. We're going to name this whatever. I'm going to say no collide. And let's, start, let's get going. The first thing to do is we're going to get our services. These are the players service and the physics service. Obviously you need the players because you're affecting players in the game and you're going to, oh, I can't spell physics. <laughs> and you need the physics service because what you'll be doing to make the players then collide with each other is you're going to be changing the player physics so that they can obviously walk through each other. It's basically called um, collision groups and um, yeah, so collision groups allow different parts to collide with each other, which is exactly what we want. So we need to create a new collision group and we're just going to call it players. Uh, wow, I can't spell at all today. And then um, we're going to set the collision group set collide. So basically we're going to set it so that uh, parts inside the players collision group cannot, um, sorry, cannot collide with each other. So basically we've set the collision groups up, now we need to make the actual character in that collision group so they know that they don't need to collide with one another. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a new um, a function and it's going to be the new, the new character function. In this function, we're gonna have, first of all we're going to have to wait until the um, character is fully loaded. So we're just going to do um, wait 0.1 until character Find first child, humanoid, exists. Basically we're waiting until the hu player's humanoid exists. What we're doing here is we're getting all of the, um, we're getting all the parts of the player. God, I can't spell or do anything today. So in, um, we're getting all of the different um, like parts of the player and then we're going to add it to that group. Okay, so that gets all the parts inside of the character and it adds them to that collision group. Next thing we need to do is we actually need to run this function because at the moment new players are doing the game it's not actually going to run this so we need to actually make it so it runs that function. We have to link it up with a new player function. What we're doing here is we're getting um, if the third player joins in and their character loads in really quickly, so before, um, let me just get this done first actually, then I'll explain it. Um, okay, so basically, let's say if the player joins and instantly I've got a character then it will get their current character and it will do it. Basically, this is mainly if you're in studio and you're testing it, it glitches out. Basically, the player sometimes joins before the script loads in. So obviously their character is going to be in before the script runs. So we're guessing if they're we're seeing if the player's already got a character and then we're running this function. Basically, it's studio issues. And then um, in this one, when a, play, uh, when a player gets a character, so when they load in and they get like their little R15, R6 character, then it'll run the, that function as well. Next thing we need to do from here 
is we need to um, well, obviously run the new player function when a new player joins. Now, you've seen much in this in another video that I've done as well, of the in-game startup players. Basically, there's been a couple of studio glitches with the game where I've already explained where the player joins before this script is actually loaded. So we need to get the players who are already inside the game, um, you know, so, so, so they actually get the uh, no collide um, collision group. Okay, so let me explain all the different parts of this script. So basically, this bit here, when a player joins into the game, they automatically run this function, and then this function gets the new player's character. So basically, when they join, it runs this function, and this function says, if we wanna, when a player gets a character, then run this, and this function gives them the, um, change all of their parts to be in that nice collision group, which I've already said, is a no collide. It's basically one long, big process. And this bit here, what it does, let's say, if, let's say if the script doesn't run in time, let's say you've got a really slow game for some reason, you might have like um, loads of parts and it takes forever to load, this script may not run in time. A player might join before the script is run, which means that um, we have to get all the players in the game when the script is online, see if there is any, and then run that function as well. I hope that makes sense. Let's go and test it. I've just jumped straight into our Roblox world and as you can already see, it works perfectly. We have got no errors in the output, it all works perfect. Okay. Again, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're still a small community so it really makes a difference for us. And again, if you don't want to copy out all the scripts, then um, you know, just join the Discord server. Link should all be in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.